Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 11th of 2020. Well, it is titled colors of the moon. So what do we see here? Well, we see a whole bunch of images of our moon, and they all appear very different colors. Now, why does the moon appear different colors? Well, most of this is due to the atmosphere of the Earth and the Earth's atmosphere will cause the colors to change. Usually the moon looks kind of a grayish or grayish brown color. However, when it is close to the horizon, it will be looking through more atmosphere Atmosphere. So we have to look at it through more atmosphere. The more atmosphere we get, the more the shorter wavelengths are blocked out or scattered out of the path of the moon, leaving only the longer wavelengths. So if we look at some of these in the middle section and the uh, second section in we see lots of yellows and reds and oranges and those are likely caused by the Earth's atmosphere and when you pass through a lot of atmosphere you lose all of the blues and the greens leaving just the reds and in fact the very deep reds uh, off towards the right hand side would be very close to the horizon and in fact you can look at that image over there and see the very deep red image on the right and see how distorted it is because you're looking through all of that atmosphere. So the Earth's atmosphere will cause distortions and it's one of the difficulties with trying to look at things close to the horizon is not only does it remove some of the light by scattering out the shorter wavelengths, but it distorts the objects when you're looking through significantly more atmosphere. Now we see some other colors. We see some blue colors as well down towards the bottom. And why would the moon turn blue? Well, this is actually caused by the uh, some dust particles perhaps in the Earth's atmosphere. So when there's larger dust particles, they can scatter material and give the moon a very blue color. Now this is very different than what we often call a blue moon uh, that has actually nothing to do with this. So sometimes you hear about once in a blue moon. Well, that is uh, not that the moon actually looks blue, but it refers to a certain appearances of the moon. Now when we look at the other images we see the very last image here all the way down towards the lower right hand side is actually part of a lunar eclipse from 2018. Now that one looks that red because of not because of the Earth's atmosphere but because it is passing through the shadow of the Earth and red light is scattered into the shadow so the Earth's shadow is not completely dark. So that will give the moon a red color because the red light is preferentially scattered into that shadow. So while the Earth's shadow is dark, it is not completely dark and actually has some red light there. So if you watch a lunar eclipse, you will see that sometimes that the moon uh, that all at the moon when it passes completely into the Earth's shadow will not be completely invisible. If this did not happen, the moon would completely disappear as it passed in into the Earth's shadow. Now the other one that's kind of interesting is the purple color which is really not completely understood as to why the um, moon would appear in this purple color that we see that stands out uh, right almost in the middle of the image and that is uh, may be a combination of several different things working together. But here we get to look at today a number of images of our moon showing the variety of the colors that the that can the moon can appear and uh, looking at some of the different reasons as to why those occur most of which are due to our own atmosphere. So that was our picture of the day for November the 11th of 2020. It was titled colors of the moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.